I'm Joanne Delhanty and uh, Jarvis St. Remy, who was shot here on May 1st, 2009, was the older and only and beloved brother of my son's best friend, Kasim. So after his dad died, I thought the family a lot better just trying to do something to uh, uh, help out Jarvis's mom and his brother Kasim, just uh, trying to make his death not be in vain. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jarvis. Happy birthday to you. Okay, we're in the bus stop here. Uh, this is right where Jarvis St. Remy was uh, shot and killed. This is his 20th birthday, and I've uh, got some of his friends. And uh, you guys got a message for anybody out there? Well, basically just for someone, like, as Plummy had said, someone knows something. So basically just for someone to come out and speak up, because, like, this should be unsolved. It's been a year and a half, and, like, a lot of people are hurting, and a lot of people also miss him. So if someone just comes out, that will, like, ease our pain a bit more. Hi, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming again to that stopped to see if this where Javi's life was cut short um, last year. Um, up until now, there have been no arrests in Javis's murder, and um, I'm hoping that one day somebody will be caught for Javis's murder because Javis shouldn't be gone right now. He should have been here celebrating his 20th birthday with his friends. And um, we didn't, it's a second year, second Christmas without Javis. We didn't celebrate Christmas. And um, it's hard every day living, with, living with, without Javi because Javi was my first child and um, we miss him every day. Cassie misses his brother every day and um, I hope one day we could get that bit of closure that whoever did that could turn themselves into the police and own up for what they did because Javi didn't deserve to die. Javi was died innocently. Somebody took advantage of Javi that night by this bus stop. So I just want to thank the media again and everybody and um, call Crime Stoppers whoever knows something somebody knows something I always say somebody knows something so can anybody who knows something can you call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS um, you don't have to give your name or any information just call in and let somebody know something thank you Maybe the person pulling the trigger shouldn't be held, shouldn't be the only one held accountable. Maybe it's where they're getting those guns from. These people should be held accountable as well. Because there's no reason, I, there's no reason why my nephew shouldn't be here today. He was waiting on the bus to head home, to leave Kirby. That's all he was doing. And just waiting for the bus to get shot. And to this day, not one person has come forward. And we know that somebody Somebody who may have been at the funeral, just somebody knows. Like, you can't tell me nobody knows. It's, at this point, everybody's being powered and nobody's willing to step forward. But I hope at some point they find in their heart to step forward because nobody should have to go through what might happen.